welcome to Medical Dialogues Journal Club. I am Dr. Nandita Mohan and today I am going to discuss about the current status of the bioresorbable scaffolds in coronary interventions. Drug eluting stents have paved a great path for treatment of coronary atherosclerosis by a dramatic reduction in restenosis, although it has its own limitations such as vascular inflammations, locus thrombus formation, loss of vasomotor tone and restenosis of the stented segment, all these continue to be distressing problems. Now, stents often show up with occasional late and very late stent thrombosis, stent fatigue fracture, unsuitability of the stented segments for future surgical revascularization, also the impairment of vasomotor tone as well as the jailing of side branches are all unresolved issues with them. So the current review article that I am going to talk about was presented by Dr. Amar Patnaik and Jyotsna Madhuri in Indian Journal of Cardiovascular Disease in Women and it was published by Scientific Scholar where it discusses the evolution of these bioresorbable vascular scaffolds in intervention cardiology. The prototype and most widely used scaffold were the absorbed bioresorbable vascular scaffolds. Now, the first version of the device showed a high rate of recoil at six months period. Now, the Absorb Cohort A was the first in-man study that used the Absorb BVS 1.0 in 30 patients. Early recoil at six months was their main drawback. Now, both the two-year as well as the five-year MACE were 3.4%. While the BVS 1.1 version was used in 101, that is the Cohort B patients, subsequently which yielded a better luminal area and good late clinical outcomes including no stent thrombosis at 3 years and MACE rate of 10.1%. While the Absorb 2 compared the BVS with an equivalent metallic stent in 501 patients and Absorb 3 enrolled 2008 patients from multiple centers which leads to its approval by FDA. BVS was within the pre-specified margin for non-inferiority regarding the target lesion failure at 1 year. However, the device thrombosis was double that of the metallic stent group. So, a meta-analysis that followed also showed a higher incidence of subacute scaffold thrombosis. While Absorb 4 is almost like an extension of the Absorb 3. So, all in all, in conclusion, BVS is a novel concept with promising clinical data, especially with the new generation of devices. When there is a need for a good late vessel lumen with restored vessel motion, BVS is definitely the answer. So the initial setbacks are fairly addressed in the new generation devices and there are improvements in implantation techniques. So with the maturity in technology as well as its clinical experience, BVS is definitely expected to rebound as a promising strategy in interventional cardiology. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.